this uh, pecan opened up, so I gave it to him half opened. Uh, and he decided he was going to eat it, so I don't know if he got the fruit, the meat out of that nut. But anyway, um, we got acorns and we got pecans dropping around here, and I'm just thinking we could eat those. There's this whole whole trend that I see about uh, people. You get these whole groups of videos, these young ladies out there with their four or five, eight kids, and they're out there farming. The husband's out, I don't know, doing whatever it is that he does, and she's there uh, milking cows and making cheese and taking care of the garden and cooking. <laughs> you know, she's... Uh, and that's all great, and I think that's great, and probably we can all, then uh, a lot of people, I think back in World War II, a lot of people had their own gardens, and that's fine. If you want to learn to can, and that's a lot, I mean, if you're going to take care of your family's food, that's, that's a full-time, that's a full-time job for one person, to take care of a garden and all that, and that person then, I mean, of course, people have always done it. I mean, if you're a mom, you're gonna have to get your kids out there, the little ones, and get them to help you. Although, you know, little kids aren't a lot of help. They take up time, but uh, anyway. Um, but what I'm, I'm coming to is, there's this whole move in the country to go electric. And I'm watching these electric cars drive down the road. And I'm going, that's all well and good. That's fine. You want to drive an electric car? Fine. Go ahead. But I got, in my area, they're telling me that I'm going to have to get rid of my leaf blowers from gasoline and switch over to buying electric, which are, like, much more expensive than the gasoline. Well, that's fine for, you know, rich folks who can do or a big company who might be able to do that, but for the small farmer and for the small uh, businessman, having to switch over, that's like saying you gotta go from ha taking care of your horses to everyone has to buy a car and a truck. That's a big expense. And Mr. Joe Biden, well, he's got money because he's, you know, he's rich. How he's rich, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you, but, uh, you know, and all these Democrats in the Congress, every one of those people's rich. And they're going to tell the 99% of the population, and it's, you know, a lot of other... Anyway, they're going to tell the 99 or whatever percentage it is that's in the middle class to lower. I think the numbers... Anyway, uh, they're going to tell us we have, have to, have to switch. If you want to go electric, go ahead. But leave me alone and let me use my gas-powered equipment like I've got. There's no reason for us to switch completely electric except to bankrupt the country because all the small business people aren't going to, a lot of them aren't going to be able to do that. And what happens when the, elect, when the power goes out? You should have two, you should have lots of options. So if I got gas powered equipment, fine. If you want to use your electric powered equipment, fine. If there's no, if I got to wait in line for gas at the pump or whatever happened a year or two or three ago during the pandemic when they couldn't get trucks driving to bring the, the gas, well, you know, we'll, we'll get by. And we might get by better if we have both, but to sit there and say that this country has to go electric and that you can't have cars anymore that are gas powered, shut up. Just shut up. Use some common sense. If you have a very, if you put all your, what's that thing about putting all your eggs in one basket? What's that thing about uh, relying on one source? You need to have lots of sources. And the government telling us that we can't use, that we're gonna, we're moving towards not being able to use gas is trying to bankrupt the country because it's gonna bankrupt a good chunk, a good percentage of people at the lower end aren't going to be able to do that. A lot of people can't for, afford $68,000 for whatever 
some Tesla or whatever electric car or a Prius, whatever, not 68,000, but you know what I mean? People can't afford, just leave people alone. If you want to get your electric car, get your electric car. If you want to keep using gas, use gas. I know some of these, uh, whatever. So yeah, that's what I got to say. Our government is trying to, to destroy the lower and the middle class right now. I don't know what the Republicans would do if they were in office, but I do see what the Democrats are pushing. If they don't even know the difference between a boy and a girl, who in the heck are they to tell me that we should be using gas on, uh, electric only and not gas and electric? These people aren't that smart. I can tell you a boy from a girl. Maybe I should be in Congress. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right this second. Leave me the hell alone and let me use my equipment that I already bought and paid for instead of telling me I got to switch over and spend all my money. And then let's say they, let's say they subsidize it. They get you your solar panels. They tell you you can have those for free. Well, who's paying for that? If Joe Biden and those other sons of guns, Democrats, want to pay for it out of their pocket, so be it. But they're not. Not only is, is the little man having to switch over to this electric power, but he's been forced to pay for it, too. Gosh darn it. He's forced to pay for it in his taxes. And everything else, everything gets taxed 20 ways to Sunday. You make money, you get taxed. You go and spend that money, it gets taxed. So yeah, uh, stay the heck off. Leave my Barracuda, leave my Ram truck alone. Leave my Dodge Charger alone and leave it with a damn gas powered motor in it. And if you wanna go buzzing around in your 40 watt car have at it you like that if that bothers you sorry if it doesn't if it gives you something to think about good if it bothers you well maybe you better worry about it because there's a lot of people you know that mm, yep I think people always say, I've never seen things like this before. And maybe every generation has never seen things. There's always something new, some new flakiness going on. But I've certainly not seen. I've always thought the American people would do the right thing and make the right choices towards freedom and allowing people to, to, to do what they want to do within reason. And uh, this is... <sighs> yep. Okay. So there you go.